as shown in the journal page 67, properties of logarithm. Step one, prove the product property of logarithm. Justify each step of your proof. Step one, let x equals log base b of m and y equals log base b of n. Therefore, m equals b to the x and n equals b to the y by the definition of logarithm. Step two, substitute m equals b to the x and n equals b to the y into the log base b of m times n. Log base b of m times n equals log base b of b to the x times b to the y. Step 3. Let log base b of b to the x times b to the y equal log base b of b to the x plus y because the quotient of power is property of exponents. Step 4. Log base b of x plus y equals x plus y times log base b of b equals x plus y times 1, which equals x plus y. Since x equals log base b of m and y equals log base b of n, Therefore, x plus y equals log base b of m plus log base b of n. All right, example two. Prove the quotient property of logarithms. Justify each step of your proof. Step one, let x equal log base b of m and y equals log base b of n. Therefore, m equals b to the x and n equals b to the y by the definition of logarithm. Step two, substitute m equals b to the x and n equals b to the y into log base b of m divided by n. So log base b of m divided by n equals log base b of b to the x divided by b to the y. Step three, let log base b of b to the x divided by b to the y equals log base b of b to the x minus y because of the quotient of powers property of exponents. Step four, log base b of b to the x minus one equals parentheses x minus y log base b of b equals parentheses x minus y times one equals x minus y. Since x equals log base b of m and y equals log base b of n, therefore x minus y equals log base b of m minus log base b of n. Sample 3. Prove the change of base property of logarithm. Justify each step of your proof. Step 1. Let x equals log base c of a, therefore a equals c to the x by the definition of logarithm. Step 2. Start with a equals c to the x and take the log of both sides. a equals c to the x, log base b of a equals log base b of c to the x. Step 3. Log base b of a equals x times log base b of c because of the property power property of logarithm. Step 4. Divide both sides of log base b of a equals x log base b of c by log base b of c. Log base b of a divided by log base b of c x times log base b of c divided by log base b of c. Log base b of a divided by log base b of c equals x. Step 5. Since x equals log base b of c of a, therefore log base c of a equals log base b of a divided by log base b of c. All right, example 4. Complete the explanation of how to find the relationship between log base b of a and log of 1 divided by b of a. Step 1. Convert the expression log base b of a using the same base. Log base b of a equals log base log of a divided by log of b. Step 2. Convert the expression log of 1 divided by b of a using the same base. Log of 1 divided by b of a equals log of a divided by log of 1 divided by b. Simplify the expression log of a divided by log of 1 divided by b equals log of a divided by log b to the negative 1 equals log of a divided by negative 1 log of b, which is negative 1 times log of a divided by log of b. Step 4, so log of 1 divided by a is the opposite of log base b of a. All right, go ahead and finish up your notes. Start working on your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.